Good evening, and we begin with some breaking news as we come on air tonight. The BBC's highest paid presenter, Jonathan Ross, has been suspended without pay for 12 weeks for his part in the prank phone calls made to the actor Andrew Sachs. One of the BBC's most senior managers has resigned over the scandal. The controller of Radio 2, Leslie Douglas, has paid the price for the now notorious pre-recorded broadcast by Ross and Russell Brand. Just a short time ago, Ms Douglas released a statement saying the last week has has been a painful one for the BBC and particularly for BBC Radio 2. Uh, it is with enormous regret that I have decided to resign as controller of BBC Radio 2. The events of the last two weeks happened on my watch. I believe it is right that I take responsibility for what has happened. Nina Nana reports. He had been locked in a meeting for hours, but a short while ago the BBC's Director General emerged to reveal decisions had been taken. Um, this morning, uh, I met with the Editorial Standards Committee of the BBC Trust. Uh, I presented an interim report on the events surrounding the Russell Brand Show. Uh, I also had some uh, proposals for management action to make. Uh, and the management itself has acted. Tonight, Leslie Douglas, the controller of Radio 2, the network which transmitted the offending calls, has resigned following in the footsteps of Brand himself. In a letter to Mark Thompson, she said she believed it was right that she take responsibility for what has happened and also offered a personal apology to Andrew Sachs, his family and the audience. With the number of complaints rising to more than 30,000, today's meeting was crucial. It was down to Director General Mark Thompson to brief the BBC Trust on the investigation into how the calls came to be broadcast. Chairing the meeting was Richard Tate, former editor-in-chief at ITN, also listening to the findings via a video link was Sir Michael Lyons, chairman of the Trust. We have to believe that the BBC is peopled by, you know, he's organised, he's a sort of organisation, because we own it, they keep telling us we own it, it, it is a kind of mega reflection of ourselves. That's why this story is as big as it is. Now, some people have said that perhaps we were insensitive to Manuel actor Andrew Sachs appeal. Yeah, yeah. In order for the calls to Andrew Sachs to be broadcast, the production team will have had to refer up to more senior managers because of the lewd nature of their content. It's thought the office of the controller of Radio 2 was also alerted last week about the matter, but didn't act. Leslie Douglas's loss is, however, a big blow to the BBC. She is credited with transforming Radio 2, bringing in award-winning star names like Brand and Chris Evans. Some say her loss could be damaging to the station's profile. She's done a, a remarkable job taking over from Jim Moyer, who re-engineered what was a very boring, old-fashioned brand and made it vital, ironically, with some of these people, like Jonathan Ross and the Chris Evanses and the Russell Brands. If they're not going to be able to employ those sort of people, if auntie is auntie, then you're going to not attract some of the best talent to appeal to a younger audience and you've got to actually understand what is your audience. BBC News at 6 o'clock. Good evening, this is Fran Godfrey. The controller of Radio 2, Leslie Douglas, has resigned. <laughs> Once more, the BBC is leading its own bulletins on its internal troubles. Jonathan Ross' suspension, meanwhile, will remain in force for 12 weeks and he will not receive any pay. The BBC Trust has said that the matters are still being investigated and the BBC itself will apologise on air to licence fee payers. Nina Nanar, ITV News. Well, Garrett Vincent is at the BBC Trust headquarters tonight. Garrett, this story is changing all the time as we come on air. What more can you tell us about Jonathan Ross's suspension? Well, his behaviour described by the BBC tonight, his behaviour uh, on that broadcast, what, 10, 11 days ago, ago now, described as completely unacceptable. The director said it cannot be allowed to go uncensored or to go without sanction. Suspended, as Nina said there, uh, without pay for 12 weeks. But I think what's happening here... It's not quite a sacking, is it? It's almost a, a, a compromise, a suspension for 12 weeks without, without pay. And I think that reflects uh, disagreement right at the very top of the BBC about what to do with Jonathan Ross and how to resolve the situation, whether or not to fully uh, sack him. And I think the, the disagreement and the dilemma is because if you sack him, well, that's difficult. Yes, he did say these dreadful things, but it was a recorded programme. He is not responsible uh, for that broadcast. 
uh, the responsibility for the broadcast uh, was Leslie Douglas's, and that's why uh, she has resigned tonight. There will be those at the very top of the BBC who want to keep on Jonathan Ross. He is, of course, a huge uh, ratings winner. But the question there is, how do you possibly reintegrate this, reintegrate this huge star uh, into programming in the face of such uh, public outrage? So disagreement and disarray, I think, as well. We've got diff different statements coming out from different parts of the BBC at the same time tonight. All right, Garen Vincent at BBC Trust headquarters. Thank you. And any more on that during this programme and